Now in today's video we're going to be teaching you beginners on how to use the animation gizmo aka the animator which makes things move in rec room as you saw in previous games that have those kind of things and uh, it makes them really look cool and it helps you I'm gonna help you not to use inventions that you saw in the store and actually start making your own inventions like that in a step-by-step -step explanation I'm gonna to make this as simple as possible for all you new players to make your building experience the best as possible so first thing you want to do is uh, you pull out your maker pen then you go to your menu right here and then you would want to go to your palette and then you go to your CD one legacy over here you click the animation gizmo you click the animation gizmo and let's just put it right over here next what you want to do is go to your shapes go into the cube and just color it whatever you want and then you just spawn it right there wherever you want it doesn't have to be a cube necessarily it's just whatever kind of object you want all right next what you want to do is you want to go to your tools go to your connect tab and right when it shows that little bubbly tube there that looks like it's blowing bubbles you can you click on this click and hold and you push all the way to the orange cube now it'll say object is added to animation that is really good that's what you want next what you want to do is you want to go to edit page and then select the animation gizmo once you have the edit page on click once you click the animation it'll spawn all foggy and that's how you know you're doing it right next what you want to do is go back to your menu and you'll see you have an animation settings popped up next what you want to do is you want to click the add button to add your first animation so once you've clicked add, it'll blow, uh, show this uh, blue little bubble right in the middle of the cube. Now, what you want to do is you want to press and hold and move it in your liking. You can move it left, right, up, or down, doesn't matter. But for now, I'm just going to move it up so that it goes up and down. Next, you want to go ahead and click play to see your invention so far. And as you can see, it is moving up and down. Well, not moving down, but we're going to fix that. And just in case if you want to add another animation thing, you can always just go like this. So once it goes up, it goes all the way to the right. And then once you click play again, it'll go down, then left. And we're going to make it a little bit of a cube. And so once it goes down, we're going to make it go down just a little bit more. Just like that. And once we click play, it'll go up, down, up, left, down, right. So there we go. And we're going to make it like this just one more time boom all right once we've done that we click play again and as you can see it forms a perfect square now that's the basics of your animation but we're not done yet there's still a lot more steps to do and it might be complicated so listen very carefully so next what you want to do is you want to click stop and go to your in leaner click it to ease and click smooth and put your time to 0, 0.0 mm -hmm. because you don't want to uh you don't want to make that like time is like you don't need the time because it'll stop Next, what you want to do is you want to drop your thing and then go ahead to configure. You want to go to this uh, animation gizmo and go ahead and click ping pong or loop. I personally prefer ping pong because it goes back and forth and it doesn't look like it's teleporting. You can put whatever speed percentage you want. It's how slow or how fast you want it. Stop that in. Basics, basics. Next, what you want to do is you want to click this little zero icon right over here. And it says play set signal. It's at zero right now, but you want to add it to one, two, but I recommend it being a one so it starts. Next, when you leave, it'll form a perfect circle, just like that. As you can see, uh, it is going a little square. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create the animation gizmos. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video so much. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and, um, and comment your favorite time in the video. It helps me a lot. Please make sure to like, subscribe, all those stuff so I can make more videos about tutorials. So please ask me any questions you have in the comments. And yeah, thank you, for, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.